I have sad reason to see something fall from. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Full disclosure, I tried to record this once before and I died. I also wasn't recording my own audio. So I'm not going to be showing that and since it's a failed recording anyway, it doesn't exactly matter. Also, it was entirely because I was a freaking idiot. Anyway, um, I do have video of it. I think in my frustration, though, I just kind of threw out the game audio when I realized I wasn't even recording. So, um, I'll probably show a few highlights because there was, like, when by a few highlights, I mean this one moment because there was one funny thing. Anyway, unless it happens again, of course. Anyway, um, let's take on, and also, even if I didn't, I would have had three videos of, like, failed recording effects. Anyway, this place is a place. Let us begin. That was pathetic. Also, we got a blue rupee. It is worth five rupees. You will not find hearts in this place for the most part. Um, it's best to make sure you're fully healed before you enter. Am I full? Yes, I am fully healed. Okay, good. Um, 50 level dungeon fights get progressively harder. Fallen chain is overpowered, basically, is what it comes down to. I will be showing that off later, and I do want to gather money for magic armor usage later on, like, this especially. That is a yellow rupee, it is worth 10 rupees, which makes it more valuable to grab, of course, than the blue rupee, I mean. Because I am also, between episodes I stopped up, I have two blue potions to use. I will not be using the rare true or the fairy I will not be using them during the LP, most likely. Say, um, okay, you, you, well, I might use the rare shoe. Actually, in the final boss, I'll be going to use that hand. We want to just kind of chop those down. Um, ball and chain, as I've said, it's extremely useful, but wow, I already got hit. Um, yeah, it really won't come in until later. Also, if you really want to, you can wolf look, wolf on every floor and send and see if you can find hearts you will occasionally. I'm not going to worry about it. Because, well, it starts out pretty darn easy. Um, the pawn chain is nice. Sure, why not? Um, <laughs> yeah, as I mentioned, the ball and chain is really overpowered. That being said, I'm just gonna sort this guy, because these guys aren't hard. Um, so yeah, that's the main gimmick of this place. It, well, it's just a bunch of fights. And there's a map, so don't be confused. Um, oh, goody. Anyway, I have two blue potions this time, and I'm not gonna waste one of them like an idiot like last time. Because I, am, I basically tried to do something that if you pull it off, it's really good. If you can't, don't. Because it's not worth it if you screw it up. And I screwed it up. So, I basically wasted my blue potion on three hearts. Anyway, here, um... Arrows, I really should have restocked on. Because they're not going to drop very often. So I'm not going to be wasting them if I don't have to. Which is why you might notice I'm not using them right now. There are later floors where they're going to be very helpful. Potentially required. I think there's a later floor where bombs are very required, which is great. But I should be fine. Um, fire back to the dongos. Um, again, I'm not going to waste my time with expensive things yet because... These early floors are a joke, although I do, at the very least, want to waste my time on the yellow and blue and red rupees if they show up. I don't recall getting red rupees, but possible. Anyway, yeah, so, um, you know, double damage, uh, no, no hearts, and lots of money. So, yeah, I think also on some of these swords I'm going to be expected to use the lantern, which is why I haven't pulled the lantern yet. Tech Titan! Oh boy! How exciting! 
Don't forget you have a spin attack. It is very useful in here. Just because there's so many monsters. Um. But yeah, don't be afraid to use magic armor on the harder fight. I will be using magic armor in here. Some of these fights are obnoxious. Um, yeah. So I think I've basically covered this, so and now we're just gonna have me blabbering over repetitive battles. These guys are completely destroyed by the bone chain, probably. Which is why I'm not using it on them. I don't know, let's try it out. That was not what I wanted to use. I want the yellow ruby though. Um. Stop pulling out the bow and arrow! You have limited arrows! Like, seriously! Don't want to waste them! Um, melee, down here we have... Oh, we're already at the first one. Okay, now this is the person we're trying to meet in here. And by person, I mean Great Fairy. And by Great Fairy, I of course mean Nuki. Because the Great Fairy is... Never fully dressed! Um, she's at least wearing pants this time, unlike an Ocarina of Time. But she's also in higher definition, which makes the fact that she only has hair covering her dress a bit more, um... Yeah! Let's just leave it at that for now, um... Yes! She's the Great Fairy, um... I honestly believe this is part of the reason why this game's rated teen. And she is also part of the reason I don't understand why Ocarina of Time isn't rated teen or possibly even M, because... She doesn't have anything covering her breasts in that game at all, except for some vines. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we need the spinner at this point. Also, yes, she released great fairies somewhere. Oh, fairies in one of the, um, like, spirit springs. Anyway, you can check her if you want to leave. I don't. Because I have the spinner, which I'm going to put over the bow and arrow so I stop wasting bow and arrow shots. Anyway, here, this room. No, we're not having it happen this time. Um, insert clip here of what happened last time. Only clip worth worth note from the original recording, by the way. Anyway, now that that's been inserted, um, I'm gonna use the spinner for some reason. Um, we get off the spinner and blow our. No. Okay, good. <laughs> Let's just kill this guy. Um, ow. I mean, I. Well, I say ow, but okay, well. At this point, I should be in all rights so pulling out the magic armor because I have full, full money, and if I'm gonna get hit, I should be using the magic armor, but I'm not, because obviously. Anyway, we want to go up here and head down here and pull out our ball and chain. Anyway, this big old guy. If you get down here properly, which I magically didn't because it glitched out. But these are all supposed to be separate to choose when you get down here, and um, it's actually possible, if you're really good, one of the chews that spawns is supposed to be a blue chew. So I tried to get it, I failed, so I wasted my blue potion on basically this much damage last time. It was really dumb. Anyway, next we have... Oh good! Um, I wonder if the ball chain works on this. No. Alright, let's do this properly. Alright, next. Swaggle, swaggle, swaggle. Next. Who's next? You? Okay. You're next. Congratulations. You're dead. Next. You? Alright, fair enough. You died. Thank you. Have a nice day. I feel we need to pick up this yellow rupee and green rupee because of the collector in me. Even though I have Max. Anyway, let's head into here. Um, what do we have down here? Uh, 
Oh, hold on a lag, that's for sure. Now, that's for usual with the bats, um... Um, the whole... Generally, jump attacks don't work very well on them, because they say finish even though they're still moving around, which doesn't end well, so... I'd advise against that. Anyway, this floor's kind of like purple hazy, because it's like a haunted floor. And that's the like effect that that gets in this game. But more importantly, there we go. So many of them, and look at all this money that is going to complete and other ways because I'm not putting on the magic armor. What do we have next? Um, darkness. You know, I really should just pull out the. Lantern over the spinner, I guess. Um, not really helping that much, to be honest. Like, no, I guess it helped a little bit, and for your sake, it'd be nicer if it was a little brighter in here. So I'll make it a little brighter in here. I don't remember there being that many dark floors, so. Okay, there you are. Anyway, I think it's opening now. I missed. Yay, trying to walk to the minimap, but it didn't work. Um, oh! This is where you transform into a wolf. But there's a poe. And then you do this. Then you wait for it to respawn, then you do it again. And then you attack the foe, and then you kill the foe, and nothing in particular happens. And now, since this is the wolf floor, I am gonna actually look around. Because, um... I know on some of the floors, there is, like, places you can, um, dig for hearts. This does not seem to have any. I don't particularly care, honestly, because I'm not wasting my two blue potions, so I should be fine. Anyway, um, carrying on, we next we have, um, nothing. Oh. Well, this is exciting. Like, I think that's literally it for this floor. Yeah, that's it. Pretty great floor, isn't it? Anyway, let's keep on going! This one! Another chance to get a blue shoe if you're good. Like, you see it right there? It's already gone. So I've missed my opportunity at this point. Come on, kill the thing. Purple chew jelly is, um, risky. It it can hurt you, it can heal you, you never really know what it's gonna do. Same with the nasty Sue, which I also never showed off. But there's still a big old one over here. But this is actually technically like an opportunity for recovery for. But I don't really need it. Um anyway, this does get hard later. Not yet though, obviously. Um so, we're gonna, um, keep- Oh, we made it to the second one. You know what? I'd say this is a good time after this- Yeah, you know. It's the fairy again. She's gonna stand up for us now, so you can see that she's wearing, like, a robe over her growing area. That's it. Oh, and, the, like, the bracelet on her arm, yes. But yes! She also has really large lips, it's always looked like to me. Anyway, uh... She's gonna release more fairies. Yes! Oh, we need the ball and chain now. Yes. And if I want to return to the surface, I can... I do, um... I, while I do wish she was wearing more clothing, I do really like her design, like her wings. I think they look really nice. Anyway, um, this is a pretty much an easy waggle floor, as I'm gonna call it, for some reason, and, um... I like how I was planning on in the episode there, but then I just didn't. Um, you know what? 
I didn't end the episode here instead. This is something awful, and I have sign out.